Once sprawling wild woods, full of wildlife and history, today our ancient woodland covers just 2% of the UK's land surface, and half of this is damaged and in need of restoration. It's vital that we protect and restore any ancient woodland we have left to create rich, resilient and well-connected landscapes. Timber shortages in the 20th century led to the replanting of at least 44% of ancient woodland sites with non-native conifers. Regular felling and restocking on these plantations has seriously damaged the last remaining ancient woodland features. Restoration will allow us to enhance these important surviving features, including veteran trees or deadwood and certain unusual wildflowers, native invertebrates and fungi. The most important part of restoring ancient woodland is the slow correction of light levels by gradually thinning the canopy and allowing more light to reach the woodland floor. Rapid increases in light could shock any remaining woodland plants and encourage growth of brambles and bracken which can slow down the process. Carefully increasing the light levels allows surviving plants, trees and fungi to adapt slowly, meaning restoration is much more likely to be successful. Our advice and support is based on evidence, research and years of experience working to restore ancient woodland on our own estate. It is accepted as best practice in the UK Forest Standards produced by the Forestry Commission and the UK Woodland Assurance Scheme. Many conifer plantations, which have been planted since the Second World War, are reaching maturity and are due to be felled. If you own a plantation that you think might be on an ancient woodland site, get in touch for help and support to identify ancient woodland features and begin restoration.